Hi there, today we're going to talk about shaping your sound with polar patterns. I'm Ulf at Tobrek, and today we're going to talk about shaping your sound with polar patterns. And if you're maybe a beginner in recording and you wonder what polar pattern is, it's uh, what you have on some microphones where you can switch um, on how wide of an uh, image you want to capture with the microphone. The most common is the cardioid, uh, which is like the standard on all like, vocal microphones and stuff like that. And uh, next after that you have a figure of eight, uh, which takes up equally in front and back and have a very good rejection on the sides. Uh, you also have uh, omni, which is uh, equal around, uh, you take up everything around the microphone. And then there is uh, stuff in between. Now on this particular microphone, we have five different uh, settings. Uh, this is a MyLab VIP 50. And we have uh, Omni. Uh, in between Omni and Cardioid, we have Cardioid. We have uh, Super Cardioid and uh, Figure of Eight. What it does, aside from just uh, choosing the, the how wide you want to pick up uh, the sound, it also changes the, the frequency response quite a bit. Uh, especially if you're close to the source. The more narrow you capture the sound, the more of a proximity effect you will get, which means that when you have the microphone close to your voice, for example, it's gonna be more of the low end, you get that really intimate radio voice. And if you have it uh, on Omni, it's gonna be more airy and not as direct. And if you use that on like an electric guitar, for example, you can shape it from being a bit more top end, airy, and uh, you get more of a room in an Omni. And you get to narrow it down to figure of eight, where you get a lot of the oomph. And it will sound darker and beefier. So that's what I thought we we're gonna try today. We're gonna use this on uh, electric guitar and also on uh, vocals. And see what it does and uh, how you can use it to your advantage. A lot of large diaphragm condenser microphones has at least, so you can switch between cardioid, Omni, and figure of eight. Um, and some of them are more like the AKG 414 has uh, the same as this. Uh, U47 has uh, three options. Um, some U47s have uh, Cardioid and Omni. Um, that's what I can think of now on top of my head. But never mind, let's get into the experiment instead. So uh, first we're going to start and try to record a little guitar riff through all five uh, polar patterns and see what the difference is. Okay, so now let's see what that sounds like in the mix.
So, um, I took this microphone home to show you uh, what it sounds like here in my uh, living room. Uh, since this room is not really ideal for recording, the difference is going to come out really clear. So, first here we have uh, the microphone in Omni. So, this is what my voice sounds like in Omni. This is what my voice sounds like in Subcardioid. This is what my voice sounds like in Cardioid. And this is what my voice sounds like in supercardioid. And this is what my voice sounds like in figure 8. So you see, we have this really nice radio voice. I'm gonna give you some examples. I'm gonna sing some vocals over this song. You're not gonna hear my vocals in solo because I'm not... <laughs> because that would embarrass me. So I will show the differences of the voice in the context of the mix. And to not skew the results, I left the voice uh, raw, uh, just a couple of dB of compression. To me, it's pretty clear why cardioid is the standard on vocal microphones. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you liked uh, the experiment. Uh, feel free to ask any questions or get, give me feedback in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and uh, give it a thumbs up as it will help me a lot. Uh, also, if you want to support me in other ways, uh, you can check the description. There are links down there to some ways you can support me. Uh, I have a drum recording course, I have a Patreon uh, account where you can get monthly multitracks uh, and me showing you how I mixed a particular song each month. Yeah, and stuff like that. So, see you again next week. Bye bye. Cheers.